Alrighty folks, it is your boy Seppo Payu here coming at you guys with another vlog. Today I'll be talking about short upshots. This is actually a subject that Paul Yuliberry just recently touched on on his own video series called Down the Fairway. If you're interested about Paul's perspective on disc golf, go check it out on his channel at Paul Yuliberry. I had already decided on this subject uh, before I realized that he did this, but I don't think it hurts for me to do on the same subject. So we're going to be talking about short op shots. Uh, not even really uh, 200 to 300 footers, but those 100 footers where you really want to spin it and give it a good run at the basket. This is something that I used to be very good at when I was younger. Maybe it's because I didn't really care about my comeback putt or stuff like that. So I ran it more often than I, than I recently have been doing. So I, I feel like I had become pretty weak in that part of the game. But recently, especially after the P Model S coming out, uh, it's so much more glidey and straighter that I'm able to do that again, uh, at least more better. So I have got a little bit more excited on that shot and uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Uh, let's get uh, to uh, about 100 feet and I'll show you. All right, we have about 100 feet to the basket from here. We have the strike zone basket and we would want to give it a run from here. This is a distance where you, some people can putt from here. I am not very comfortable with putting from this far, especially hitting a gap. So I like to have something that's in the middle of uh, a throw and a putt. This is a shot where you don't need a full reach back. You don't need to turn your uh, eyes from the target. You want to keep your eyes on the target. You don't need to turn your torso very much. You just want to spin it and have your arm, wrist, elbow all set up right for the shot. So ideally what we want to do is have a little bit of nose up on the disc. And how to get a little bit of nose up on the disc is to keep your elbow below your wrist. So we want to have the disc like this. And when we spin it from here, the disc is naturally going to be in a little bit of nose up angle. And we're not going to turn our, our head away from the target. We're going to be looking at the angle and hit point where we want to hit. And we're basically just going to spin it. What we are going to use to generate energy and power is our legs. We want to have a lot of uh, body weight transition from back leg to front leg. So usually what I like to do is give it a little bit of Anheuser because with the nose up from this distance, if we put it flat, the nose up would make it fade harder. So with some Anheuser, it's going to flatten out and pan nicely by the basket. This is also a very good shot when you just want to lay, lay it up by the basket. All right, let's give it a try. As you can see, the P Model S is extremely straight disc. And even from this distance, I didn't really give that any Anheuser and it still glided really straight and barely had any fade. It's so nice for these shots. Yeah, I just now realized that these discs don't really even need the Anheuser. If you, I like to use PA1 also for these shots. And with those, I'm able to run it more like this, but have that fade. I'm going to go pick up my discs and come back. How to get different angles on that? This shot is a shot that is really so much about touch. And it's not as technical as like a driving or something like that. So this is just you getting out there and feeling comfortable and really touchy on your your own way and uh, your own kind of style that you develop for this. But the main thing is keep your elbow below your wrist and also use your legs. Because so often I see shots where people only throw with their wrist and that can work for a certain amount of time, but it's just get it so easily flying when you do use your legs. And uh, I am feeling pretty hot on these shots. I'll make a little montage making and running some of these uh, with my P-Model SS.
right, everybody, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week, which actually might be the final episode for this season. So stay tuned. Oh.